my god, mukha ko na tumuran. Hindi ko lang makakita pala yung edits ko. Sa poblasyon, walang parking. Sobrang bayit niya but also sobrang sketchy kasi he literally wouldn't leave us. And the drink hit yun na. Anyway, let me stop making excuses because I'm going to go so you can't really catch me. Okay, so... Nadudulos ako sa bato. Hindi pala good idea na medyo mataas masyado yung tubig na nilagay ko. Bubbles! Bubbles. Anyway, so... Hey guys, this is Romney, yung big mom. Kinis na. Kili kili. Ay! At medyo may bubble bubble pa ata yung mukha ko. Pero okay lang. It's part of the aesthetic. Tignan ito nga na. Oh! Nilagyan ba? Oh! Yun! Ayun ba? Hindi na makita sa camera. Oh my god! Mukha akong natamaran. Wait lang! <laughs> This might be my testing episode for my podcast which I'm gonna title The Venting Machine. Well, honestly, sabihin niyo sa akin kung maganda yung title. Noong una kasi naisip ko, The Reventing Machine. Kaya parang nireinvent ko yung sarili ko. Slash, it's also my way of venting to a podcast. Um, tawag doon? podcast medium or channel pero siguro venting machine like me know you can alam kung magpa pop off to pero really it's just me venting some of my problems in life and for this episode zero this is just gonna be me talking about my halloween experience extravaganza okay okay ba tong position na to hirap hirap ako guys sinakatip to ako para lang hindi ako madulas so where do i begin so this halloween let's just do a recap. So, no Halloween, I went as an angel. Pero, TBH, hindi talaga yun yung first kong option. Let's just go back to that first. Ano ba talaga yung mga costume options na naisip ko? Yung first ko talaga is I wanted to go as someone na naka leather... Leather ba yun? Basta parang leather shorts na kita yung gilid. As in, kita yung dito, guys. Like, yung dito ang part na to. Meron siyang tali. I'm gonna show you a picture. But sadly, hindi siya sa akin. Kasha! As in, sobrang kita na yung kaluluwa ko. And we even tried na i-tali siya manually. Kahit sobrang ikli talaga ng tali. Tapos after nun, dapat ibabalik ko siya sa Shopee and bubili ko ng bago. But the seller closed their shop. Wala na. Yun yung first option ko pa naman. And then, magtotopless lang ako. Or, magsuot ako ng something na parang pang BDSM na pantaas. So, that was scrapped. My second option was just BDSM in general. But, I also did that na in the previous years or, yeah, nung last na Halloween. And then, yung last naman, na option ko was to become a policeman. Pero, yung nabili ko kasi is parang polo lang na sleeveless which ginamit ko siya for my angel outfit. So, I'm gonna show it to you again. And then, meron lang akong biniling cap na pang police which I don't have a picture of. Siguro after nito, mag-picture ako with that. Pero, feeling ko parang it was giving basic bitch na wala talaga akong costume. It was really just a hat. So, naisip ko to go with an angel. Bumili ako sa Shein ng wings and ng angel outfit. Yung parang halo plus stick. Tapos, yung angel wings. Pero yung angel wings ko guys, mukha lang siyang kartulina. As in, sana pala hindi na ako bumili. Ako na lang gumawa. Pero I loved it. I ended up loving it. So yun yung ginamit ko. Plus, meron talaga akong ibang pantaas nung una. Isa siyang parang sleeveless sando na super fitted sa akin. But apparently, it was too masike. As in, the chan was not giving guys. The chan was not giving. Yung chan ko like... Hindi ko lang makakita pala yung edits ko. <laughs> anyway, ayun. I want this to be fast kasi naka 4 minutes na ako. And yung battery ko is low bat na. <laughs> so, feeling ko yung episode 0 natin is super ikli lang. So, after that, kami ng friends ko, me and my two other best friends from the same condo, pumunta na kami sa Poblacion, Makati. So, dun ako actually nag Halloween party. But this was night 2. This was October 31 already. Pero no October 30, I also went out with my friends and Daddy Edgy. Kasama sa Daddy Edgy no October 30. Plus, no October 30, Tapat talaga mag-outfit din kami ni Daddy Edgy nyo. Meron kami dalang Naruto um, outfit. Yung sa um, kanila Itachi. Fuck! Akatsuki. Akatsuki. May ganun kami na ginamit namin last year. Plus, meron din ako ng Jason mask. Dapat yun yung suotin ko. Pero yung friends namin hindi sila nag-outfit. So, sabi namin, sige, wag na lang. But, turns out, when we went to Hosek, lahat sila naka-outfit. Plus, sa Hosek, sobrang K-pop ng culture. As in, I felt so out of place. Ganun pala yung feeling. Lahat sila nag-K-pop dance. 
and I don't want to get into that but like if you guys love K-pop music and K-pop dancing go to Hosek it's super worth it anyway yun yung night 1 night 2 skipping to night 2 kasi may iba madali tayo ng kwento but this time wala si daddy edit tatlo lang kami and nagdala na ako ulit ng kotse actually nung night 1 share ko lang din na natapos kami mag party around 4am to 4.30 kasi kumain pa kami nun ng uh, breakfast sa Canto Freestyle pero nag decide ako na umuwi na lang kami ng daddy edge so nung drive ako ng 4.30am and then I worked no October 31 9am to 6pm and then saka kami nagparty ng mga 9pm kami umalis o diba ang dami kong ginawa ganun ako guys pag nagparty ako the next day na kapag gym pa rin ako at nakapag trabaho pa rin ako because I am that productive and I am proud of that after nun so October 31st pagpunta namin dun sa poblasyon walang par King. Kung alam nyo yung poblasyon guys, alam nyo na sobrang hirap doon gumuha ng parking Kaya kinuha na naman yung first parking na nakita ko Supposedly dapat makikipark kami doon sa friend ko na nag overnight stay sa poblasyon Pero puno din yung parking nila So we ended up looking for a different parking slot May nakita kaming parking pero malayo siya doon sa event namin But okay lang And mabait si kuya Pero ang siningil niya po ay 160 pesos Bala ko sana 100 lang pero 160 yung siningil niya and he opted na he hatid kami dun sa bar mismo. Sobrang bayit niya but also sobrang sketchy kasi he literally wouldn't leave us. As in, talagang hinitid niya kami. Pero safe naman. As in, as a first timer lang, parang kami parang, Oh, kuya, okay na po kami. Mag na po kami hinitid. But he was like, Oh, hatid ko kayo. So yun, pero safe naman. As in, super bayit ni kuya. And then upon arriving sa par, sa, ano kami nag-party? Sa Oculto. Oculto. It was okay. <laughs> the vibes was okay. They were pretty confused because they said no need for reservations, but we were like, but we reserved the table. They were like, no, no entrance fee, no reservation fee, no anything. So so we were confused. But when we got name, no friend was there, so we reserved. It was okay, naman natin. And then inside, so brang ganda. Can you just can you just say so brang ganda ng ex interior nila, yung mga walls. So brang talaga ng like feeling mo, pinikirapan talaga nila yung Halloween party esque shenanigans nila as. Pero yun, sabi ko nga, ang siya sabi dun po, Marty, nang lasing ka na, kung lasing ka na. Kasi nga may sumasiyo dun, no? sobrang dami nilang lights, tapos umiikot sila like, wow, wow, wow. Sobrang saya talaga sana. So at first, we were very, very like, okay lang, kasi wala pa kaming tama. And then, when the drink hit, yun na, as in like, pati mga katabi namin, friend namin, and then, I actually met uh, this group na apat sila. Tapos, yung Meron silang LGBT couple din. So, sobrang ako, mm, girl and girl couple. And I really, really love them, like them. Naalala ko, super nagkapuhan ako. And then, I also wanted to take care of the other table. So, whenever they wanted to pee, I would ask them kung kailangan nila ng tulong. Kasi I was super duper willing na ihatid sila. Shit, di ko na alam kung saan pa po ito. Kwento na ito. Ang hirap pala mag-podcast nang wala kang kausap. Kasi you're just literally making quent of anything. So, maybe this is not episode zero. This is more of like a story time. Not sure. At hindi ko rin alam kung next time sa bathtub ko din gagawin yung ibang episodes. Pero yun. And yeah, after that, siguro mga 1am, 2am na, we decided to go because we wanted to eat and lasing na yung isang friend ko. Which was unexpected because we expected na yung isang friend namin talaga malalasing. Pero hindi, iba yung nalasing. And we tried to roam around sa Pobla to look for a bar number 2 but did not happen. So wala na, almost close na all or pa close na or may reservations. So ginawa lang namin is kumain na lang. Kumain ba kami noon? Eh then decide kami na umuwi na lang. So that was already around 3 to 4 AM. Yeah, so tagal na bang naglakad pala. Ay hindi, baka mga 3 kasi mga 4 I think nasa bahay na ako or nandun kami sa malapit na kainan sa amin. So nag-drive na lang ako ulit and I was okay. I was not drunk driving. I was extremely extremely sober kasi ganun din ako kapag umiinom kapag magde-drive ako. Todo-todo inom ako, tapos biglang magpapasober na ako. So, I'll stop kapag... Ewan ko. Tsaka nagigising ako eh. Tsaka I'm pretty honest naman. But I'm... Anyway, I'm gonna stop making excuses. Gusto nang gawa ko na so you can't really catch me. But, yun. Umuwi na kami kay Daddy Edgy. And kami ni Daddy Edgy. Actually, nung night before, funny. Share ko lang. Kumain kami ni Daddy Edgy, diba, sa Canto Freestyle. Pag-uwi namin, nag-Angel's Pizza pa kami. And then, night 2 ko, nag-try kami mag-Canto Freestyle. Then, it was full house, sobrang full house doon, as in then <laughs> so yun lang naman, and yeah, ang pinaka takeaway ko dito is I really love being kind to other people when I'm drunk, so maybe that's my drunk personality I really love helping other people, paglasing pero yung negative lang sa attitude ko is I really like talking a lot when I am drunk or tipsy, as in like tipong alam mo ba sis, kaya siya ba siya? nagchichismis, chismis na ako, B mga hindi ko naman alam if it's factual 
eh ano tayo dapat di tayo pro fake news ayan na po low bat na so yun lang guys this has been Rear I'm you guys about to scan rock it and this is his podcast called The Venting Machine so vent with me para wala na tayong problema basta this is The Venting Machine podcast by Romney yeah thank you